<laughs> it's uh you haven't played the cards but you were here Aubrey the first I was time here the we first it. time we did it yeah all right uh well just just refresher maybe people haven't seen us play cards yet uh so essentially we each hold three cards in our hand um and then we'll uh take turns on who is the buyer so two of us will sell to one buyer and then whoever the buyer is they will pick their favorite item now the only you only get to get the item from the card and you are limited into tying your sales pitch around your story uh your you know whether it's a brand story or whatever uh, how you want to do it is entirely up to you but it has to be tied around um the item and then um you there's a couple rules um you can't ask questions to the buyer um you have to just give it like a sales pitch but the buyer holds all the power so the buyer they if they feel like riffing with you they can ask questions and, or get clarification or whatever and, and they can kind of lead you they kind of force you down uh, an mm -hmm. aspect of your sales pitch that they like um so the buyer can do a lot more interrupted talking or questions and stuff like that um the seller though you just have to make a sales pitch and then the only real rule other than not being able to ask questions is you you can't give like a price to it mm -hmm. so it's not like oh and this item's only a penny or something like it you it there's uh it's almost like they're getting the item for free right you know it's like which one would you want you know it, it's but it's uh it's more of building the value for the item itself Rhett, I know you like to hunt. You've shown me horrifying pictures of poor little squirrels that you just so blew sad. to bits. So goddamn sad. I cried. It was it was just not not the pictures I wanted to see at work that day. You just hey, look at these family of squirrels I murdered. Uh, but anyways, it was. Uh, I know you you get the enjoyment out of you know uh, harming apparently small cute little animals. Um, what I have here though today is going to allow you to really step your fucking game up as a hunter, right? Because squirrels, I mean, can only get your rocks off so far, right? It's just, uh, you, eventually you need to move on to bigger and better kills. You know, you, you eventually you want things that are a bit more fierce, right? That really like, when you show that picture to someone there, it's not like, oh my God, you killed a cute little squirrel. It's like, holy shit, you fucking, you killed that. And now here's the thing. Um, I'm giving you a surefire way, okay, to hunt one of the greatest animals of all, a fucking bear, all right? I'm talking a big ass, and, and it works on any bear of your fucking choice. You could use this on a goddamn polar bear. I mean, they're kind of extinct, but you know what? <laughs> you, and it, that's, that's what gets hunters off, right? They want to kill all the rare fucking animals, mm. so this will allow you to hunt a bear so successfully, you might not even need a gun. I mean, you could just fucking jump on its back with a knife. And, I mean, really, when you show those pictures to somebody, that's going to tell a fucking story. Uh, what I have here is your very own bottle of bear pheromones, okay? You spread this anywhere you fucking want, and, dude, every bear in the goddamn vicinity is going to be on that shit, Right, you can fucking go around and spread it on a tree and just stand up a, in a tree stand, and instead of killing a whole family of fucking squirrels, you just murder a whole family of bears. I mean, you think about it. You you could have, in, most people go out hunting and they may not even see anything, but you can get every fucking bear in a goddamn forest if you wanted to, with your very own bottle of bear pheromones. Bear pheromones. Okay. I'd have to double check on the legality of bait <laughs> hunting in Arizona. I know some places you can do it, but bait hunting. Hey, th th there's th this is I have never seen an illegal bear pheromone. <laughs> also, I don't know if I'd want a chance knife fighting a horny bear. That seems like a good way to either get raped. <laughs> no, or get he's, he's distracted. <laughs> he might be distracted, but shit, man, I don't know about knife hunting a bear. But well, you can kill it with a gun. You can be in a tree stand. That's a good point. Yeah, that wouldn't be. I'm giving and, you the options. I'm giving you options of bears and ways to kill huh. them, or ways to 
kill people with you bears. could i mean technically you could <laughs> you, you want to go back to our whole vengeance is it, <laughs> you is really want to fuck a dude up <laughs> rub bear pheromones all over his car and as he's walking to his car at night he's just gonna get mauled i wonder if that would be considered murder <laughs> i don't think so I didn't do it, it would look like a bear thing. sprayed his car yeah what did i do fucking just wipe it on the pheromones on him that's yeah. ridiculous fucking wipe it on Where someone's door and fucking there's just a grizzly in the middle of the night trying to get through their goddamn the ring door. camera goes up there's a bear trying to break their shit yeah, dude. Fucking. That'd be good. I mean, you're. This leaves some room for imagination. Yeah, there, there, there's wiggle room there. There's. <laughs> I, I, at first, I was like, I don't really hunt all that much. It was really just that one time and a few others, but like, oh, that might get me into it, man. If I got bear pheromones, there's a lot you can do with that. Even not for hunting, that's like, that's just good to have. Hmm. Man, imagine throwing that <laughs> jar in a hunt. crowd of people. Oh yeah, dude. All right, what do you got for all me? The bears. <laughs> all right. So that's. that's that's a good idea, you know, useful. Um, if you want something, you know, yeah, you go hunting, cool. But then you get home and you're tired, you know, you just want to relax. What do you want to do? Watch movies. Who doesn't like watching movies? Specifically, there is one person that just everybody just loves, you know. That's good old Nick Cage. Oh, of course. Of course. Who doesn't love Nicolas Cage? There's so many movies he's been in, you know, National Treasure. Mm-hmm. The Fire. classic. Banger. Who doesn't love that? What I'm offering you today, <laughs> as I know that you are a Nick Cage fan, mm. as one is, you know, um, I have the complete VHS box set of every single Nicolas Cage movie ever. Keep in mind, that also means Raising Arizona. Okay. Your fave. It's a good fucking movie. You know, you get not one, not two, but every single goddamn Nicolas Cage movie ever created <laughs> you can have a weeks long nicholas cage marathon from when you get back from any any just tiresome event and you just want to sit at home and watch some movies who better to just sit down and enjoy than good old nick cage every single movie mm. there's some you've never even seen you're I'm like sure. what he's in this and it'll just make your day it'll make oh it'll make your day so much better Watching every single Nicolas Cage movie on repeat every single day for the rest of your life. Just Nicolas Cage. Just Nick Cage. Okay. <laughs> Unironically, I do fuck with Nick Cage. <laughs> oh, so God. That's not Who a bad the way. fuck? <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. I saw this car and I was like, That's fuck not a bad this. way. Um, however, he said it was VHS box set. Right? We'll throw on a VHS player. For you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I even have an AV input, but a vintage <laughs> way to enjoy but television. I can con- I I've gone through the process of converting tapes to like DVDs and shit before, and so there you it wouldn't go. Now be you terrible. Got a new hobby and also, I didn't even like Nick Cage is still making movies. I didn't know they were still printing vhs tapes of it's special movies. just it's for like nick vintage. cage we have a special licensing <laughs> huh. just to vhs it's like how vinyl's nick coming back <laughs> right. yeah nick cage is bringing vhs back nick cage Dude, is doing it i wish i could just easily record fucking antenna tv <laughs> you'd never have to VHS. get a single uh subscription ever again mm. fuck netflix hulu who needs it you don't need anything else except for nicholas cage i like the idea of getting away from like having to rely on the internet mm-hmm. for all my entertainment. <laughs> Nicholas Cage one. will be Shit. your entertainment. Oh Jesus, that's a lot all of movies. Them. All the that's movies. Like hundreds You'll of never movies. get bored. You'll that's have so many movies, movies to choose from. All the National Treasure fucking sequels that they made. That's Holy shit, that's a lot of movies. Interesting. He's been in all some right. cool shit. I, I think it's rebuttal time. Yeah, it's gonna be a hard ass fucking rebuttal. That's a tough one. It's all right. <sighs> fucking. I get it. A box set of Nick Cage. I mean, uh, didn't he do, what was it? Was it God of War? What was the one where he was the, the gun kingpin? Uh, mm-hmm. we did all, he sold all the drugs and shit, mm-hmm. and then he started selling guns. That sounds yeah. like a good fucking he, movie. I was going to say that. It sounds I'll right up your alley. Ghost Rider. Uh, well, I was going to say oh. Ghost Rider would be in the, the downside no, uh, of uh, Nick Ghost Cage Rider's box so set. <laughs> so good. Sick, dude. <laughs> but he, I was gonna say he did a he did a war movie where he's a he's a gun salesman. I thought that's probably why you fuck with Nick Cage. No, so dude, I haven't even seen that. Damn. Well, there you go. That's by far dude, his best Raising movie. Raising Arizona. 
it's so better good. than Raising Arizona. Bullshit, but <laughs> so I mean, good. go watch it. I mean, hey, there's not much of a rebuttal, is it? It's uh, <laughs> like, yeah, fucking do it. Yeah, it, it's uh, I I mean, I think you hit on it. Fucking VH sets. It's not gonna look good on your OLED. I mean, there's not gonna be a lot of upscaling there. This is before they had surround sound. I mm. mean, it's really not gonna sound all that great. And who wants to watch all of these fucking new dope ass Nick Cage movies if they're not on 4K? I have to get head cleaner for the fucking. Uh, it, I mean, VHS. and then it's like you said, where the fuck are you even going to put it in? And you've seen how big VCRs are. You want some clunky ass fucking VCR. Receiver size. And unit. then there's a reason why we went to streaming. Do you know how great it is to have just because it's, these aren't going to be your only movies. I mean, you're going to have to find a place for these yes, thick is. ass VHS. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are the only movies you're need allowed. To get a bookshelf for you're gonna need like a whole bookshelf because think of how many movies he's fucking made. You're gonna have to have an entire shelf in your Fuck. living room dedicated to fucking VHS. Imagine explaining. Think that of to the people. statement piece though. <laughs> the statement piece. People walk into your house. Oh, what's that? <laughs> uh, entire wall full of Nicolas Cage. Oh, this. Movies. <laughs> it's this just is every my, Nick Cage movie ever made. Every single Nicolas Cage. I'm movie. a collector. <laughs> I'm a Nick All Cage on aficionado. I'm gonna get a cardboard cutout. <laughs> Vintage. Get Coming a Ghost Rider uh, fat head on the wall. Yeah. Fucking. It's a. Uh, but, you know, bear pheromones, practical fucking uses. Yeah. You, you can't. You cannot use Nick Cage movies anywhere other than in your home. And then eventually, after you watch them all, I mean, you've already seen them all. This is dead weight. It, it's. It's collector's item. Bear pheromones have fucking value. You can hunt with it. You can create total chaos with it. You can take out your enemies. You can use it to ward off. I mean, I'm making your rebuttal for you, but like, if I if I move out somewhere <laughs> in like the woods, you can use it to ward off. No other predators. fuck with a no place that smells with, like bear. Exactly. No coyote's gonna fuck or fuck around with that. <laughs> It'd freak out pets, probably. <laughs> but fuck, what do they know? Yeah. <laughs> your, your dog's like, why do you smell like a bear? And also attract bears. Which I, I not you come idea. outside, there's just like a bear fucking your house. There's bears all over. <laughs> it's like my security system is just, I have bears everywhere around the house. Yeah, your whole security system is just a bunch of bears walking around with full fucking boners just in your yard, a bunch of aroused bears. I'd have to get like truckloads of like chuck meat <laughs> and just throw meat everywhere, keep the bears fed. <laughs> not only are they going to maul intruders, they're going to fuck them too. <laughs> gonna rape any home intruders, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that just made bears way more terrifying. Oh yeah, those are the scariest <laughs> bears in the world—the horniest and meanest bears. I mean, how big do you think bear dick is? I mean, you look Huge. at like horses or something, like like quadruped mammals like that. I have some hogs, <laughs> son. Fucking hung. Oh, dude. Oh all my god, them. they're walking around with the big dick chains. <laughs> mm-hmm. All of them, custom made big dick chains for all the bears. Every time they stand up, right. <laughs> <laughs> They walk they, around. It's like a pen. tripod. Yeah. <laughs> this dick out. He's tripod. It's his kickstand. <laughs> Hell yeah. You uh, got a good point there. Fuck. They, uh, yeah. Hmm. Bear pheromones. But then what if, you know, you're just carrying around bear pheromones on you? That's just going to attract bears to you. Then you're going to get mauled by bears. Where are you going to put that? Where are you going to put your bear pheromones, huh? It's risky. It's so risky. You can't just high have risk, it in your truck. <laughs> You're gonna just gonna have bears following you all over the place. Is that something Which you really want? Which wouldn't be a terrible. Do you want to bring bears into your work? You're kind of. You're gonna be such do a I, nuisance. Do I want to bring bears into work? Yeah, yeah. that'd be sick. <laughs> what are you yeah. talking about? Fuck yeah, I want to bring place that gets shut down you, so quick. Oh yeah, you 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 made his point. I'm going with the pheromones. God damn it! <laughs> I know. The more I'm talking, I'm like <laughs> the bear good, pheromones are a good, fucking, good idea. fucking idea. Hell yeah. <sighs> fucking shit that was hard round one complete. round one Fair all right I, i've so been keeping